All right, hey you guys, it is Subaki Swag and I'm coming to you with my review of Makaku City Actors episode eight, Lost Time Memory. Okay, so as I was corrected by Three Tailed Fox Girl that um, Kano is not actually, well Kano is not actually um, <clears throat> Haruka or Konoha. He, well, Ene and Konoha are the only two who actually died and switched bodies. But <clears throat> in this episode, we kind of figure out what happened in that accident with Konoha and Hay Hayabaya, Hayabaya and um, Hiyori. And pretty much, long story short, we learn in this episode that all of the people in the group, like Kido, Kano, Seto, Mary, um, Momo, Kisaragi, everybody in that group, the reason why they got their powers was because they pretty much had a near-death experience and went into the void. And when they came out, they had their eye power. But it seems like whenever multiple people go in, it's like only one person comes out. And the one person that just so happened to come out, which was like Kid and Seto and Kano and Mary and Momo, Kisaragi, for, the, for example, they all got their eye power. Or it manifested after their near-death experience, after they went into the void. And this is what happened to Haibaya, Haibaya. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but this is what happened to him when him and Hiyori went into the void when they almost got into the accident, which explained what um, Shintaro saw when he was helping Konoha look for them. So he saw the void and he saw Hiyori and Haibuya <laughs> get sucked in, but only Haibuya came out. So Haibuya, Haibuya came out and this is when his eye power manifested because they were in the hospital when they saw his eye go red and of course they took them back to their like lair because they didn't want because they don't know what his eye power is going to be so something really bad could have happened if they left him there or it could be something really not necessarily benign but something that's not going to like kill everybody in the in the hospital so that was why they took him back to the lair and he, I guess he overheard them talking about like how all of them got their eye power and pretty much that Hayori can't get out right now. And he, of course, wasn't going to hear that because he's in love with her, even though he refuses to admit it. So things are not looking really good for Hayori right now, but they said that they are going to try to help him get her back. Because I guess there's a way to get her back. And if that's the case, then he should be able, they should be able to get like people like Ayano and um, Momo and Shintaro's um, father and like um, Kiddo's sister because I believe that was Kiddo at the beginning that was crying because there was a part at the very beginning when they show a girl like looking for ways out on stairs and her sister is telling her that she has to pretty much go on her own that she can't keep following her sister around that she's the only person who can get out and I believe that was Kiddo at the beginning I could be wrong but I'm almost positive it was her so things are starting to get really interesting in this anime but I'm still slightly confused but we also at the very end we got to hear the song that um, Shintaro's story is based around with Ayano and pretty much it sounds like Shintaro was it was like typical like Shintaro was really mean to her and then something happened and she died so he pretty much considers himself being the reason why she died and he can't take back all the bad things that he said to her or he wished that he had and then he actually would have been nice to her or at least told her how he really felt and of course he can't do that now but uh, it looks like he's possibly going to be able to talk to Ayano at one point in time in this anime I mean because everybody keeps seeing her in their dreams so I think that he will be able to talk to Ayano eventually, hopefully. But other than that, this anime is pretty awesome. And I also like the stories at the end, well, the story at the end talking about the little monster and her growing up with 
like, well, growing up and being alone, and then when she finally meets people, they're mean and hateful, and she kills all of them, and then now she has a family, and her family's starting to grow old, and she doesn't want them to grow old, and she's finally learning, like, the real meaning of despair, and it's just, it's a really sad story, but I like it, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that story, too. I don't know if there's a song based around that, or if it's just, like, a little side story, but it's pretty interesting. So, as a whole, I really am liking this anime, and hopefully they bring out some more manga chapters, too. I would like to read those but I'm gonna wrap this one up because it's running kind of long so as always please remember to comment rate and subscribe and this is Subaki Swag saying adios